Good day, YouTube. It is the 3rd of October, 2020, and uh, this being the uh, month of Halloween, I thought I would build me a Jacob's Ladder. Um, you've seen it on uh, horror movies, Dracula movies, all that kind of stuff, um, where basically it just shoots lightning up a couple wires, right? That's called a Jacob's Ladder. Um, to do that, you need a high voltage transformer, and I just thought I would put one together. Um, I have collected up a couple of neon sign transformers like this one. This is a 12,000 volt transformer. Obviously, um, this is not something you should attempt at home. This is not a how-to video. This is a... a I've been in the industry for 42 years. I understand and respect electricity. Um, this is not a high output current transformer. However, um, it can certainly do damage. It can kill you. So we do not want uh, any of this falling in the wrong hands or have an amateur build out there. Just finding a neon transformer is usually challenge enough. Um, what would keep most people from... Uh, attempting something like this so I'd rather you watch a video of me doing it than you doing one and getting hurt so this is a again a 12,000 volt neon sign transformer I have hooked up a temporary cord to it so that I could uh, plug it in I have grounded the case of the transformer should something go bad internally it will trip the circuit out um, not only do I have you know a circuit breaker ahead of the circuit that feeds this plug strip, there is circuit protection on the plug strip itself. We are double protected. So uh, I've made these in the past, but I've usually borrowed a transformer. If these are actually mine, I've got a couple, but we're only going to do one. Um, and to get the copper wire needed to build it. I've just got some uh, 14 gauge NMB cable. You might call it Romex. I have cut a couple feet out of it and pulled the conductors out. There's the black, the white, and the ground. And uh, we'll use ground because it's already stripped and we'll take one of these and strip the insulation completely off of it. See if I can do it without uh, too much issues. They're not the easiest thing in the world to strip. They'd be a little easier if I had a sharper knife. Obviously, I just threw that back in there instead of taking the time to replace the blade. There we go. Sharper knife. There, that is stripped. I've obviously done this before. Then we'll bend a curdicue in it with our strippers, like so. And we'll take it on around and make a full loop. Okay. And we'll straighten that wire up a little bit, like so. And now we'll attach it to the transformer. Obviously the transformer is unplugged. It made it a little tight. Glenn, a little tight. Let's loosen that up just a bit. Try again. Put a washer and a nut on. So we can get it good and tight. All right. You don't want this wire getting anywhere near the case of the transformer either, so we gotta make sure we give it some room. And we're gonna start off with a, oh, kind of an hourglass shape, like an hourglass in the middle, where it gets real close. Uh, up in this area somewhere, you know, just just shy of center. Might have to redo that once I get the other one on there. 
Hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Let's put the other one in. One, two, and a nut. These would come out of a big neon sign, maybe neon light that goes around inside or outside of a building. The longer the neon, the uh, higher the voltage the transformer needs to be. All right, let's extend this one to about there. Kind of guessing this might need a little fine tunement, fine tuning. Before we're said and done, adjustments. It needs to jump a gap and then it will climb the gap. Um, this is 14 gauge solid wire. Um, I'm not make that quite as much of an angle. 12 gauge would be a lot uh, stiffer, probably better to use. I just didn't have one handy. So. It's also very bright out. I have a lot of windows. So making this dark enough to see in here. Hmm. Let me kill the lights. See what I can do. All right. I moved around just a little bit. Took some garbage off the wall. Let's see what we can see. This is as much light as I can get out of here. I might have to wait till the sun goes down to finish this video. There's no switch on this. So we're just going to carefully plug this in and, uh, Watch the Jacob's Ladder. Hopefully I've got it adjusted well. I'm going to grab it. Hmm, that one's not going to work. I say there's no switch. Let me look. No switch. I haven't looked inside. Hmm. Well... Give me a minute. All right, I've got them a little closer together and uh, give you a black backdrop. See if this works a little better. There we go. Sorry, it's crooked, but I got the uh, distance good. That's 12,000 volts jumping the gap. Let me stop it and spread the tops out, see if we can get it to jump farther. All right, plug it back in. I spread that out up there, see if it'll jump a bigger gap. Climb the ladder, Jacob. Yeah, we got a couple of them all the way up. Mm -hmm. Alive. These wires are going to get hot too, so we can't run it very long. If you want them to run cooler, you're going to run your 10 gauge or 8 gauge solid wire, which I probably have some somewhere if I look around a little bit. Like mini lightning, controlled lightning. Say, what would happen if we put a piece of paper in the middle of that? Yeah. Just an insurance card, so.
All right, guys. The wire's probably getting hot, so we're going to shut her down. Thanks for uh, joining in on our Build the Jacobs Ladder. Please don't tempt this at home. Happy Halloween coming up for everybody. Y'all stay safe. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate the comments. Subscribe and please hit the thumbs up on the way out the door. I make these videos absolutely for free, but the least you could do is hit a thumbs up and get more people to watch it. All right? Catch you on the next video.